Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss the factor theorem. So when a polynomial px is divided by x minus a, give the remainder 0. So keyword, when you divide by x minus a, if the situation gives you a remainder as 0, meaning that x minus a is a factor of px. Conversely, if x minus a is a factor of px, then the remainder will be equals to 0. So here we have two situations. So meaning that if you have the remainder is equal to 0, x minus a will be the factor of px. Second situation if given that if x minus a is a factor for the px, then you will have a remainder which is equal to 0. So now we are going to discuss the example. If x plus 1 is a factor of the polynomial, determine the value of k. So in this case, they said x plus 1 is a factor. So we will refer to the second case. So meaning that x minus a is a factor. So our remainder will be equal to 0 when we substitute the value of a. So now we are going to use the second case. So meaning that p negative 1 okay, will be equal to 0 because x plus 1 is a factor. So by substituting the value negative 1, so we will have negative 4 okay, plus 14 minus k minus 3 equals to 0 for the left hand side. So simplify the situation we will have 7 minus k which is equals to 0. Finally, rearrange the situation. We will have k which is equals to 7. So from here, determine the value of k. So again, I remind you to substitute the value into the function. So px will be equals to 4x cubed plus 14x squared plus 7x minus 3. So here we are and thanks for watching.